<laughs> you devil. It's hard to believe that we've known Nathan Drake for almost a decade now. We've gotten to see him murder hundreds of malnourished pirates and armored mercenaries, sure, but we've also watched him grow and deserve his beautiful send-off in Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Learning from The Last of Us, Uncharted 4 showed off a more grown-up Naughty Dog that was capable of writing deeper and more complete arcs for their characters. But Chloe Frazier's absence in Uncharted 4 robbed her of the chance to take advantage of a more mature Naughty Dog, which is something Uncharted The Lost Legacy addresses. She has finally graduated into the leading role and gotten her chance to develop, and if we compare her past performances with her new one, we can see how Chloe grows in Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Oh my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. Nice work. Chloe was always positioned as a balance to Elena. Almost everything from their professions, outfits, and relationship with Nate are thematic opposites to one another. These differences are reflected on the inside too. Elena doesn't have any glaring issues because she's already found herself and thus serves as the stable moral compass and level-headed anchor for the series. Chloe's ethics are a bit more murky with her relentless self-preservation serving as her main flaw. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Whereas Nate never seems to know his limits, Chloe is all too aware of hers, willing to sacrifice others or cut and run when she feels like she's been put at risk. This is made clear in Uncharted 2 when she's prepared to ditch cameraman Jeff after he takes a bullet in the stomach, fearing his handicap will put them, and more importantly her, in danger. Uncharted 3 shows this side of her as well when she quickly backs out on the hunt for the Atlantis of the Sands after a dangerously close shave. Seeing Cutter break his leg and nearly die signaled to Chloe that it could have easily happened to her, which was her cue to bail. The Lost Legacy begins with the same old Chloe. After getting cornered by their adversary Asav, she attempts to switch sides and help him find the Tusk of Ganesh, essentially selling out her new partner Nadine in order to save her own skin. I knew it. You were going to give me up. This causes tension between the two women and shows how quickly and easily Chloe switches into self-defense mode and disregards others. She betrays Nadine's trust later on too by not mentioning Sam Drake's involvement in their adventure, knowing full well that Nadine wouldn't want to work with the very person who caused her to lose ownership of her private military company, Shoreline. Chloe's selfishness continually puts her at odds with her supposed allies and shows her destructive natural inclination to put herself above others. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. However, similar to Nate's flashback sequences in Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 4, The Lost Legacy takes the time to fill in Chloe's backstory and gives us more insight into the events that sculpted her. She opens up to Nadine about her obsessive father, who spent his money and life trying to find the Tusk of Ganesh, the very artifact they are now chasing. Learning a bit about her backstory paints a more complete picture of her character and gives us clues as to why she turned out how she did. And this all ties into the Lost Legacy's version of the myth surrounding the Tusk of Ganesh. While the tusk was initially thought to have been cut off in a battle with Parashurama, a series of paintings and puzzles reveals that Ganesh submitted to prevent shaming his father Shiva. Ganesh prevented humiliating his dad by allowing himself to be struck down by the axe Shiva gifted to Parashurama, exaggerating the weapon's power, but upholding his family's legacy in the process. He yielded. Chloe then discovers shortly after that her father made a similarly noble choice by secretly abandoning the tusk in the final stretch in order to ensure his family's safety. These two revelations recontextualize Ganesh and her dad by showing that both made selfless decisions to save and protect the ones they love. Chloe internalizes these correlated stories and, in doing so, overcomes her obstacles and sheds her bad habits, both of which intuitively mirror what Ganesh and Shiva represent. Chloe explains how Ganesh places obstacles in front of those he thinks will benefit from it, and how Shiva encourages positive mental destruction that pushes people to lose their ego, ditch their bad habits, and shed their detachments. The whole journey serves as the obstacle that Chloe needed to overcome in order to shake her flaws and grow as a person. Through the use of clever symbolism and parallel stories, Naughty Dog completes Chloe's arc and allows her to apply what she's learned in the final act. 
Jumping on a train to defuse a bomb is something old Chloe probably would not have done, but new Chloe doesn't waver at sticking her neck out in order to save people she doesn't know. Selling the tusk to the Ministry of Culture is also a sign of a new Chloe, since the pay will pale in comparison to what she could have gotten elsewhere. Respecting the culture the tusk represents is more spiritually fulfilling, even if it comes at the cost of being monetarily fulfilling, which is completely at odds with her indifference towards the stolen Indian artifacts in Asav's quarters in the beginning of the game. It doesn't bother you. These are all Indian artifacts. It's not my fight. In the final act, Chloe risked her life to save strangers and took a huge pay cut in order to properly honor them, both of which signal Chloe's progression into a more compassionate, thoughtful character. It's like you said. Progress. Demand sacrifice. Fraser, we need to go. The Lost Legacy makes good on its decision to bring back Chloe. She sadly didn't fit with an Uncharted 4 story, and therefore didn't have the chance to benefit from Naughty Dog's more mature and refined writing style they picked up making The Last of Us. The Lost Legacy grants her that opportunity, and utilizes the game's more condensed format to focus on her character, and give it the respectful deep dive and resolution that she's deserved for all these years. Thanks for watching. Okay.